All right, everyone, it is assessment day today. So what that means is that we are going to try to see how many things that we can get done in a minute or how many reps we can get done of each exercise. I'm gonna recommend that you do this every eight weeks to kind of see your progress and where you've come, how far you've come along, all right? So assessment day is today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with chest press for our assessment. So make sure you get your dynamic warm up, make sure that we are um, moving with our stretches. So again, we're going side to side, keeping those arms moving, coming up and down, getting those arms moving. You can even open and close, touch the toes, reach up to the sky. We can do um, push those hip flexors forward, pull those knees back. Lots of different options that you can do for a dynamic warm up. I just want you to get that body moving, kind of dynamic stretching. Make sure that you're moving with that. Do that for about four minutes, three to four minutes. And then you do about a, a minute of jumping jacks or high knees or low impact jacks, something to get that heart rate up to where you can get that dynamic in. That way we can be nice and warm and ready for our workout. All right, assessments. We are gonna start with chest press. Now you can do this on the floor. Um, unless you have a bench, then you can feel free to do that. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to grab about a medium-sized weight. So when I say medium, that's anywhere from, you know, 10 to, you know, 20 pounds, somewhere around there. And what we're going to do is you're going to be here in position. You're going to keep that lower back down, core tight, bring that belly button to the spine. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down and up. And your plan here is you are going to count. So you're going to set a timer for one minute. And then you are going to count how many repetitions of that chest press you can get in that one minute. You're going to write it down so you have it there. That way in eight weeks, what you can do is you can, and make sure you write down the weight that you used as well. So write down the weight you used, the amount of repetitions that you got. That way in eight weeks or so, you can look at it again and you can say, oh my goodness, I got, you know, a few more repetitions, all that kind of stuff. And if you do it again on your assessments, you can go up in weight, and we can talk about that a little bit later, but I just wanted to kind of show you how we're going to do that. All right, then the second exercise is going to be reverse row. So what we're going to do is be here in position. We are going to hinge at those hips, keep that core tight, bring that belly button to the spine. You can probably use similar weights to what you used for your chest press. You're going to hinge over, keeping that back straight and beautiful. We're going to come back squeezing those shoulder blades and then come back down to starting position. Again, squeeze those shoulder blades together, come back down into that starting position. Here's it is from the front as we go, just like that, keeping those elbows in. Again, you're going to do one minute. Now, you're going to get a full workout today. So what that means is that when you do chest press, you're doing three rounds of the one minute, okay? So take your numbers, count your numbers for the first minute, and then still do two more minutes of as many as you can get in, but we're gonna take the numbers from our first round. So again, chest press, you're gonna do three sets, one minute, and then you're going to take the numbers from the first round. A reverse row, same thing, three sets, each gonna be one minute. Um, give yourself a minute rest in between as well. So when you're going through, have your timer set, one minute on, basically one minute off, three rounds. Take the numbers from your first set, okay? All right, then we're going to go into squats. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to have the weight at the shoulders. We're going to keep that core tight, belly button, the spine. Weight is going to be in those heels. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down, push that butt way back, keep that chest high, coming back up into starting position. All right, down and up. I want your goal is to be to try to get lower than 90 degrees. If we're not there yet, that's okay. You can also do this without weight and just body weight, where we're here in position, again, pushing that butt back, keeping that chest high, trying not to lean too far forward. We wanna keep that chest high, keep the core nice and tight and balanced. And you're gonna count how many squats you can get in one minute, again, three rounds of those one minute rest in between. Then we've got deadlifts. You can go a little bit heavier around this weight. We're a little bit stronger in these deadlifts, so know that. Shoulders are gonna be up and back. Core is gonna be tight. We're gonna bring that belly button spine once again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and up in a slow and controlled pace here. Watch that back. Make sure that it is not grounding. Make sure that the, you're bringing your belly button to the spine. Make sure shoulders are not grounding. Also, slight bend to those knees. You want to also make sure that you feel in those hamstrings, you're pushing that butt up to the sky. Really feel those hamstrings, all right? All right, so again, you gotta push that butt up to the sky to kind of feel that. Then, so we're gonna do one minute of those deadlifts, then we're gonna head into sit-ups. We'll be here in position. 
You guys know the drill, bring that belly button to spine. Now there's different options for this. Hands in front, hand on the chest, hand behind the head. You can also even use your, your hands to help you up. I don't care what you do, how you do it, just make sure you do the same thing at the end so that you know how much how you progressed. All right, so we're gonna bring here, bring that belly button to spine coming up and down, seeing how many sit-ups you can get in that one minute, all right? Rest for one minute, two more rounds. Make sure you're writing everything down. Don't forget to write everything down, all right? Last thing you're gonna do for your assessment day is you're gonna do burpees, everybody's favorite thing in the universe. But this is a great way to see how well that you can get that cardio and strength and just see some progress in those areas as well as we go throughout this program. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go into burpees. All right, so this is what a burpee, I'm gonna show the, um, the lower impact version and then I'll show the all the way up to the high impact version. So low impact will be here, you know, bringing that belly button to the spine, you're gonna go down to the ground basically in a plank position. All right, you're gonna go out to a uh, plank position and then you're gonna go into a push up, all right? You're gonna jump forward or step forward. We're gonna come back up in the starting position, okay? Now the full on move would be to go down. We're gonna jump back, okay? Go into that push up, jump forward, and then come back up. You can also go to the knees for your push ups in that burpee. I do want you going down into that push up. I would like the chest to get down to the ground as well on those, okay? So you're gonna see how many burpees you can get. If it's one burpee, it's one burpee. If it's 40 burpees, it's 40 burpees. You're gonna see how many burpees you can get in that one minute. This is a really exciting time. This is something really special to kind of see where you're at. So don't feel bad about any of the numbers that you see. Don't be disappointed. Don't be any of that kind of stuff. Just know things are gonna get better and that's why you're here. All right, have a great, great workout. Everyone will see you soon.